Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. If you are one of our customers here to learn on how to use our products, welcome and thank you for your purchase. If you're here to get tips and tricks on authentic New Orleans cuisine, you're in the right place. Now this channel is dedicated towards fried New Orleans food, but if you ever want to see anything else such as red beans and rice or eat today, just let us know in the comments. Today we are making our crispy Creole chicken tenders. Our chicken tenderloins have already been cleaned and now you see we are just separating the tenderloins into different bowls because today we are having a battle of the batters. Here you see two of our top selling Creole batters. Down by the bayou is our top selling dry batter while Second Life Sunday is our top selling wet batter. If you've never seen a Second Life before, I recommend that you look one up on YouTube. The beauty about these batters is that it is packed with all those wonderful bold Creole flavors that you're looking for. So you will not have to pre-season your food. I know it sounds crazy, but just trust me. So let's start with our Down by the Bayou batter. Now a lot of people like to use many different binding agents to help the batter stick, such as like buttermilk, but I prefer good old fashioned yellow mustard. But you can use whatever you prefer. So just put a generous amount to coat the chicken, just like that. And then just mix it together. Y'all like these purple gloves? I think we should keep these purple gloves in every video until we're not sad about Mardi Gras being canceled this year. I mean, it was the right decision, but I could still be sad. I mean, Mardi Gras is our favorite holiday. But oh well, maybe next year. So this is how your chicken should look once it's completely coated. When you order our batter, it comes in a black resealable pouch, just like this. And just take some kitchen scissors to just cut open the seal. Then pour in about maybe a half a cup to start with. Now I'm not sure how much chicken you'll be making, but remember you can always add in more batter. Just always make sure that your chicken is fully coated. Then just start to mix it together, just like I'm doing with the pair of tongs. This is how your chicken tenderloin should look once they are fully coated. Now here's a secret to frying chicken. Let the batter rest on the chicken before you fry it. Trust me, you'll see a difference in the crispiness. So we're just gonna set it aside while we start working on our wet batter. You're going to cut open your second line sundae pouch, just as we did before. Pour in one cup of second line sundae batter into a mixing bowl. Pour in eight ounces of room temperature club soda. Then just mix with a whisk until nice and smooth. When you're done whisking, it should be the consistency of pancake batter. Just like that. Can y'all see all those spices? It's gonna be delicious. Place your chicken tenderloins right into the batter. Make sure that each and every piece of chicken is completely submerged. Look at that, y'all. Mm. All right, all of our customers comment down below right now. Are you team dry batter or team wet batter? Let us know which one is your favorite. While our chicken is resting in the wet batter, we're just gonna get our fire started and heat up some vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you prefer. Now I'm using a cast iron for the dry batter, but a nonstick skillet for the wet batter. So go on ahead and put your chicken right into that hot grease and do the exact same for the wet batter. Y'all, look how flavorful that looks. 
Make sure when you put your wet batter chicken in the pan that you don't overcrowd your pan or your chicken will stick together. It's been a few minutes now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start flipping my chicken. First with the dry batter, and then with the wet. And as you can see, it's nice and goldeny brown on the other side. And that's exactly what we want each side to look like. Now that our chicken is done, I'm just gonna remove it from the grease and place it on a resting rack. And I just have a napkin underneath so it can just catch all that oil that's draining. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, crispy Creole fried chicken tenders. If you use this recipe at home, please post a photo and tag us on our Instagram at Southern Fried Kings. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. To purchase our Creole batters, go to southernfriedkings.com. The link is also in the description box for your convenience. And we hope to see you in the next video, and trust me, you will not want to miss it. We are making shrimp po' boys, and we hope to see you there. Laissez le bon temps rouler.